So let's go. Yes, we got it, baby. Now we can push it in. So now what I'm gonna do is remove the negative battery terminal. So what I'm trying to do right now is to fish for the two tabs behind the steering wheel so that I can be able to get it off. So it's going to be easy for me to turn off to turn around the steering wheel because I've jacked up the car so now the wheels are on the air. So it's going to be easier for me to turn it around. So that I can get the tabs. So the first tab that I'm going to try to reach is this one right here. So I don't have a mirror, so I'm just going to try to do the best as I can to get the feeling of where the first tab is at. So yeah. All right, so we're out. Oh, this was a heavy task. So here's the original airbag. Um, the one from the Mark 5. So here's the airbag connector. Here's how it, look, it looks like. And here are the, par, the, the horn connectors. This is the first one, which I'm not sure which one is the negative. And which one is the positive so as you might call it which one is the ground and which one is the um, live so i don't know which one is which one but i'll have to figure it out so here it is so this is the original connector i'll see if i need to replug the connector back onto the steering wheel or i can just use the connector from the new steering wheel so here's the old bag out now let's get the steering wheel off so to get the old wheel out you'll need the multi splines m12 socket the one that i'm going to be using to get the steering wheel out so this is what you're going to need so you're also going to need an extension in case it doesn't fit onto the so i think what i'm gonna do is now unjack up the car because now it's going to give me a lot of trouble trying to spin the wheel around so with with the wheels on the ground, it's going to give some resistance. Maybe the steering wheel is going to be a little bit harder to turn. And it's going to make it easier for me to then unscrew this bolt. Oh. This was the thing that was making it so hard. Uh, so what I'm going to do after removing the steering wheel is make sure that I lock or tape the, um, the steering angle sensor so that I don't, I don't get to have any problems when I put it back because I honestly don't want to have any problems. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I tape up the steering wheel angle sensor or the slip ring. Yeah. So that I know that it won't turn on me. And I won't have to have any problems. So, right now, I would like to change also the steering wheel control module. But at the moment, I don't have the money that's required for me to buy the steering wheel control module. Because the steering wheel that I'm going to be fitting on here is going to be a multifunction steering wheel. So for now, I'm just going to change the steering wheel and I'm going to see the rest later. Here's the new steering wheel that I'll be putting on. Um, this steering wheel is from Apollo 6. Yeah, so this is from Apollo 6. This is the airbag. So I chose this steering wheel because it doesn't have the silver trim around the edge here. So I think I like this one better. We'll also check on the connectors for the airbag, whether they are the same or not. 
but right now I think the major thing that I need to do is put on the steering wheel then I will figure out the wiring harnesses and other stuff later so right now let me just try to line up the steering wheel so as you can see there's a notch on the steering wheel which needs to line up with with this notch right here so that's what I'm going to do uh, I removed the tape I'm just trying to make sure that nothing spins as well while I'm doing this so I'll remove the tape later okay now everything lines up now I'll pull off the tape so let me bolt on the steering wheel so everything lines up right now yeah everything lines up now let me bolt on the steering wheel So right now I'm trying to compare the wiring connectors to see if these are exactly the same, whether there will be a need for me to reroute the wires or not. But honestly, they look the same. The only difference is this pin right here. This one pulls back, this one presses in. But other than that, nothing looks different. It has three at the top, this one has three at the top. It has how many at the bottom? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, everything is the same. Everything is the same. So, what I'm trying to get a hang of right now is whether the horn is coming from the same place as these ones. So, if the horns are on the same pins as the original bag, this means this is going to work without a problem and when I get a steering wheel control module then I'll just swap it, no problem. So let me just try to open up this airbag and see. Okay, so on this one they are on number so on the airbags are on number at the top on number let me see maybe yes, on number one two three four so on number three and four then the ones at the bottom are number okay let's open up this one as well and match up the wires so that everything goes smooth i think we are good this is on number three and four at the bottom the one is on number brown is for the one and this blue I think we are really good to go. You must hear it click. Then when you hear it click, you'll know that everything is what it's supposed to be.
Okay, now let's plug up the car and see whether we have anything. Now the first thing to do is cut off the re retaining wire that we put so that the car can never connect itself by mistake. So now that we cut this off, what we need to do is get the negative terminal back on. What you wanna do is make sure that when you turn on the car for the first time after installing this, the steering wheel, you must make sure that you're not directly facing the the wrath of the airbag because you don't want that blowing up in your face. So let me just turn this on and see. Okay, nothing deployed. Let me hit the horn. We got no one. Damn. We have no one. Oh, we have no one. Now this is a problem. So now I'm in the house trying to figure out the wiring turmoil that I'm going through. So, um, the two blacks are the ones. Although I don't know which one is live which one is not but i've seen that so my problem is on this other connector so it seems like this blue goes off from here and goes on to this and it's supposed to come onto here because this is where my car supplies power to other than this so let me try to unhook this white connector and see how we got things tangled up there. Okay, now here's the problem. So this blue wire goes from the horn onto this connector which gets power from the from the steering wheel. And we're not supposed to have it like that. We're supposed to have this coming off and going in to number based on these connectors we have supposed to have it coming on to number two so i guess what i'm going to do is take this wire coming from here and put it on this one and take the one from here and put it onto the connector yeah i guess that's what i'm gonna do So I've finally done the wiring now. This is how things look right now. So this is the next day. So I'm going to try to fit it in and see whether we have the horn right now. So let me just try to go ahead and fit it in and see if the horn is working. I don't know how safe is what I'm trying to do, but I'm just going to clip this pin in and clip this uh, multifunction harness in. But I'm not going to push the airbag in because if the horn doesn't work, then that means I also need to take the steering wheel out again. So I'm just going to do this and test it and see how things go. So let me just push this in and see if we have the one. Then if we do have the one, then I'm going to clip it in. Now it will be a job done. So...
So I decided to go and get some gloves so that if there's any current passing through here, I'm not going to get electrocuted. So let's go. Yes! We got it, baby! Now we can push it in. Woo! Yeah! Baby! Here we go. Now we're good. So I guess that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you on the next one. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay